Hello designers! This tutorial will show you how to make a custom coin or medallion in Tinkercad. We're going to start by showing you how to make a coin with a nice flat top here. We'll show you how to put a rim around your coin at the end of this video. So to start, I'm going to bring a cylinder onto the work plane, two inches tall, or about five millimeters. And I'm going to make it two inches wide. Now I'm going to be importing this snail right here. And I got it by just finding an image in a different file format and running it through an SVG converter. So I've got this SVG here. I'm going to open it up, bring it onto the board a little bit smaller than its original size. There he is. Oh, you know what? I think that is the perfect size for this coin. We're gonna leave him here. We want this snail to look like he's engraved in the coin. To do that, let's turn him into a hole. Holes 0.05 inches deep, or about one millimeter deep, look really good as engravings. Now we can't see him because he's only 0.05 inches tall and he's hidden inside the bottom of the coin. So what we're going to do is select this whole area, select the coin body and the snail. And we're going to use the align feature to bring him to the top of the coin. And there he is. Now we select the snail and the coin together and group them. We now have a nice snail shaped engraving right where we left our snail. Now we need to bring on some text and I want this to say something snaily. So I'm gonna make it say slow and steady. I'm playing with the size of my text box until I adjust it to a size that I like. That looks pretty good. So now I'm adjusting the height. Again, 0 0.05 inches or about a millimeter is great for engravings. To keep my other lines of text the same size, I'll just duplicate this text box and change each line to say something different. So copy, paste, change, and again, copy, paste, change. All the same size. Let's lay all of these words out together so that they'll fit inside the coin. All right, I think I like that just as it is. So I'm going to put all of these in one group so they're easier to work with. Ah, that's better. I'm going to turn them into a hole. Now let's click and drag the whole phrase onto the coin. And again, oh no, it's disappeared. All I need to do is align them and tell them to both line up at the top. There we go. So now the top of this phrase is the top of the coin and it's 0 0.05 inches deep. So it should show up really nicely when we print it. And now that these are all in a place I want them, I hit group and there's our engraving. Let's zoom in. Now there's a really cool trick you can do. You probably noticed at the beginning that some coins had text on the back. I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So again, we make some text, we make it smaller. So it fits on our coin. Again, we are adjusting the height. Once again, 0 0.05 inches or one millimeter is a great height for that engraved effect. Let's turn this into a hole. If I put it on the back just as is, it's gonna be backwards. You can click and drag the rotation handle of your text in order to flip it. But if you're a little bit clumsy with the mouse, then instead, you can click these rotation arrows, enter 180, and it will tell your shape to rotate 180 degrees. Now it looks backwards here, but perfect for the backside of the coin. And now if we group this thing, we're good to go. There's our coin. Now, what if we want to give this thing a rim? Hmm. Well, let me show you the approach you would take. Let me start by ungrouping these. 
And I don't really care about the text on the bottom at the moment. I'd like the bottom to still be the same. But what I would like to do is start with a blank surface. Okay, so if we want to rim all the way around this, we basically are engraving a giant hole in the middle of this coin. So to do that, I want another cylinder so I can leave a nice circular shape. Let's make this cylinder slightly smaller than our two inch base. So we'll make this 1.95 inches wide and this 1.95 inches long. Remember, we are using this slightly smaller cylinder to make a giant engraving. What's a good height for that? It's 0.05 inches or one millimeter. Let's turn him into a hole. Once again, I'm going to grab my hole and my coin base, and I'm going to align them at the top. I'm also going to align them so that they're lined up along their length and along their width. So everything will be nice and centered in the middle. Hey, look at that, we accidentally grabbed our one cent too because I never took it off the back. That's easy to fix. Let's put this text back on the bottom of the coin. Just select, type D to drop it to the work plane, and there it is, back where it goes. Let's select the coin, the top engraving, and the bottom text, and group them. And now you can see that nice rim around the edge of the coin. Now let's add the snail and the text back to the front of the coin. These words and this snail are still holes from before we made this rim. So let's make them solid. This rim is 0 0.05 inches tall and so are our snail and our text. And because they're the same height as the rim, they should just look like they're popping up out of the coin the same way the rim does. There we have it, one good looking snail coin. Remember to select everything and group it. And once you've done that, your coin will be ready to export for print. Thanks for watching, hope this was helpful. Good luck with your coins.